I'm sure that everyone watching this video would agree that flying a wide-body aircraft never gets old. However, flying small regional jets has its own aspect of fun as well, and I've been able to fly many of these throughout my life thanks to living in a smaller city. In today's video, I'm flying on American Eagle's Ember 145 from American's largest hub in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas to my hometown of Champaign, Illinois. As some of you may have seen, over the years I've made multiple trip report videos involving Champaign on routes like Champaign to Dallas, Champaign to Chicago, Chicago to Champaign, and the now non-existent routes of Champaign to Charlotte and Charlotte to Champaign. With the completion of this flight from Dallas to Champaign, I will officially have flown on every single passenger route offered in recent history from Champaign Airport. Today's journey begins at the Skylink station here on the north side of DFW Terminal E. My inbound flight on United arrived slightly late and so my already tight connection here in Dallas became even tighter. As such, I'll catch a quick ride on the Skylink train down to the next stop on the south side of Terminal E because this is the fastest way to reach my next gate. over there, just back there. Today's flight to Champaign, as usual, departs from the Terminal E satellite concourse, which is connected to the main Terminal E by an underground walkway. Aside from some food places and shops, there is really not much to the satellite concourse. My flight departs from gate E28, and thankfully I reached the gate while boarding was still being called. By this point, if you're a regular viewer of my videos, you should definitely be an expert on the American Ember 145. This aircraft has 50 seats in an all-economy class layout and does not feature any power outlets or Wi-Fi. Today I'll be seated in the second to last row in seat 17A. Taking a look at the seat back, of course we have a tray table, followed by a large seat pocket containing an entertainment pamphlet, safety card, and the air sickness bag which is somewhere down there. The legroom is a standard 31 inches of pitch, which is perfectly fine for this sub 2 hour flight. Your safety is important to us. Please pause for a moment to give your attention to the flight attendant. Personal items should be stowed either overhead or under the seat in front of you. To prepare for departure, close your tray table and place your seat in the full upright position. If you haven't already fastened your seat belt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. To open your seat belt, lift the top of the buckle. Keep your seat belt fastened when the seat belt sign is on. And just
service on this flight consisted of pretzels and a choice of drink, for which I chose Coca-Cola. It was also rather perfect how I managed to get the Dallas-Fort Worth themed pretzel packet. Now I couldn't help but point out the sheer irony of the entertainment pamphlet on this aircraft. The E-145 has no Wi-Fi or power outlets whatsoever, so as such there's really no point of even having this pamphlet in the seat pockets on this aircraft. Then again, the routes that this aircraft type operates aren't even long enough to justify the installation of those services. The rest of the flight was spent playing United's new flight simulator game, which surprisingly doesn't need Wi-Fi to work, and admiring the views outside. Just as a heads up, they got pretty incredible later on. Sunset soon after those breathtaking views, and with that we began our descent into Champagne. We approached the airport from the southwest, passing by Decatur and Monticello in the process. We then made a sharp 90 degree turn and came into land on runway 14 left.
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe as we're about 500 subscribers away from hitting 20,000. So if we can hit that insane milestone before this channel's 10th anniversary on August 15th, that would be awesome. Anyways, that'll do it for today. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you later.